Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we're talking about phrasal verbs with the verb to turn. So first of all, let's look at some definitions of the verb itself. Firstly, it can mean to go around, to rotate or revolve. For example, when a person turns or turns around. It can also mean to change the position of an object in order to achieve a result. So we can think about turning a key to open a door, for example, or to turn up or turn down the music, to make the music louder or not so loud, to make it quieter. Finally, we can use it to talk about reaching and passing a certain age. For example, I'm going to turn 25 next June. Or my brother is going to turn 30 on Tuesday. The first phrasal verb we're going to look at is to turn up. So what does to turn up mean? Well, it can mean to increase the speed, intensity or volume of something. For example, he turned up the speakers so loud that the house started shaking. Number two, it can also mean to arrive or to make an appearance somewhere. So, for example, the students turned up late. They said they had got lost on the way to class. To turn up means to arrive here. This meaning can be carried over to objects to some extent, in the sense of to be found. So the car keys turned up. They made an appearance of sorts. Typical. They were in the last place I looked. To turn down. Well, it has the opposite meaning of to turn up can mean to reduce the speed, volume or intensity of something. His neighbours asked him politely to turn down the music, to reduce the volume, to reject or refuse a person, invitation or suggestion. She was devastated when they turned her down. It would have been her dream job. So they rejected her job application. To turn out to switch off, you can turn out a light. Can you turn out the lights when you leave, for example? To assemble. Loads of people turned out to see the game. Loads of people went to the game and attended the game. They assembled there. To end up or to be found to be. Very common use of to turn out. It turned out that he wasn't guilty of the crime. The cake turned out really well see two different situations in which we use the phrasal verb to turn out. What about to turn in or to turn into? There are also a number of different uses of this phrasal verb. Firstly, it can mean to hand in or to give in or to submit work. More in American English than English English. I have to turn in my coursework next Friday. I have to hand in my coursework. To turn oneself in or to, tur to turn another person in means to give oneself up to the police, to report oneself to the police, or to report another person. It can also mean to admit doing something. The killer turned himself into the cops. He went to the police station and he said, I committed the crime. Number three, to turn into means to convert into something or to change into something, to become. Clark Kent turned into Superman every time he went into a telephone box. The caterpillar turned into a beautiful butterfly, became a beautiful butterfly. To turn on means to switch on, so the opposite from to turn off or to turn out, or to cause to begin. Can you turn on the music please? Or he turned on the charm and she was instantly his. He started being charming. It can also mean to arouse or to excite sexually. His dulcet tones turned her on. She was very excited by the sound of his voice. To attack someone or become aggressive. There was a drunk man in the bar who turned on me. So when someone suddenly becomes aggressive and attacks you, he turns on you. What about to turn off? To turn off means to switch off. You can say to turn off or to turn out. I turned off the television. Switch off. Say to turn off or to turn out, 
I turned off the television because the lecture. It was so boring. What about to turn to? To turn to someone or something is when we look for help or support from someone or something. I didn't know what to do, so I turned to my father for advice. I turned to my father, I asked my father for advice or support. He was depressed and lonely and turned to alcohol. He turned to alcohol for support. He requested or he got support and help, a feeling of support at least from alcohol. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. If you would like to see some more videos on phrasal verbs, then click on the panel. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel here at englishbox.co.uk, then simply click on the big yellow button. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.